Have you ever wondered why a sip of Coke feels like pure magic in some places, while in others it's as flat as drinking from a cardboard box? Well, you're about to find out today as we dive into the secrets of one of the world's most favorite sodas. In this video, we'll spill the fizz on what makes Coke so darn irresistible in some countries and completely different in other countries. But that's not all. We've also got some juicy news about a popular ingredient used in Coke that's been stirring up headlines lately, with claims that it might have more twists and turns than Coke's secret recipe. Believe it or not, this popular ingredient is causing a buzz at the Food and Drug Administration (FDA), and they're about to deliberate on whether it's potentially carcinogenic. Yikes. Yikes! Could our cherished Coke be at risk of being a fatal brew? Is it destined to disappear from store shelves forever? You're about to find out. So whether you're a Coke devotee or a skeptical soda sipper, join us as we begin this mind-boggling exploration into the controversial world of Coke. Imagine you're on vacation, lounging on a sunny beach, and you decide to treat yourself to an ice-cold Coke. You take a sip, and it's like a party in your mouth, sweet, refreshing, and oh so satisfying. Fast forward to a few months later, you're back home, grab a Coke from the fridge, and meh, it's just not the same. Now you're in denial, wondering if the Coke you're sipping is phony. Nope, it's not. First off, you need to know that Coke does not taste the same everywhere. Yep, that's a fact. And do you know that Coke has many franchises around the world? While Coca-Cola maintains that the basic ingredients and process used to make Coke are the same everywhere, the real taste saga begins with its secret syrup concentrate. Once the secret syrup is distributed to over 275 independent bottlers around the globe, an extraordinary transformation occurs. Each bottler becomes a soda maestro, armed with a creative spark and driven by the mission to craft the perfect Coke tailored to the taste preference of their country. The bottlers add their special twist, turning Coke into a world of different flavors. Some individuals may opt to use varying amounts of concentrate in different regions, with some using less and others using more. For instance, unlike the USA where high fructose corn syrup is commonly used, Mexico prefers cane sugar, while some regions might choose brown sugar or caramel. When using cane sugar, it tends to add a smoother and more mellow sweetness to the Coke, whereas corn syrup can deliver a bolder punch of sweetness. So depending on where you are, your Coke might lean towards a sweeter or bolder taste. And have you ever heard of the Mexican Coke phenomenon? No, it's not a Coke wearing a sombrero, it's all about the glass bottle, folks. In some places like Mexico, they serve Coke in good old-fashioned glass bottles instead of plastic or aluminum cans. And believe it or not, that can actually influence the taste. Some Coke connoisseurs swear that the glass bottles give the soda a unique nostalgic flavor that takes it to a whole new level of deliciousness. Let's not also underestimate the significance of water in the mix. As one of the key ingredients in Coke, the quality of water can vary dramatically from one location to another, which could result in a distinct taste of your Coke. Each region has water with unique mineral compositions that inevitably influence the flavor of our beloved soda. So, if the water in your area isn't playing nice with the Coke recipe, you might end up with a less than stellar sip. However, when it comes to fast food chains that nail the perfect Coke taste no matter the location, there's one undisputed champion in town, McDonald's. Behind the scenes, there's a secret filtration fortress that takes McDonald's Coke to a whole new level of perfection. They have this top-tier, ultra-fancy filtration system that works tirelessly to make sure every drop of your soda is simply bursting with freshness. They filter their water like it's the last drop of liquid gold on Earth. So, even if the water they start with isn't of good quality, McDonald's filtration wizardry steps in to save the day, guaranteeing you an irresistibly refreshing Coke experience no matter which corner of the world you find yourself in. Another secret to McDonald's uniform taste lies in its legendary partnership with Coca-Cola, dating back to 1955. But that's just the beginning. You see, McDonald's takes extra care to keep their Coke fountains clean and pristine by making sure no flavor ghosts from the past haunt your drink. Think about it. When you order a canned Coke, who knows what it's been through before it ended up on that store shelf. It might have had a wild ride on a bumpy delivery truck or been sitting in a dusty warehouse for a while. But at McDonald's, they've got their soda fountain under tight surveillance. They clean those magical fountains regularly, and they don't mess around. It's like they have a soda SWAT team, making sure everything is spick and span. No funky flavors are allowed to lurk around, which means your Coke tastes as pure and refreshing as a cool breeze on a summer day. And guess what? All that careful cleaning adds to the fizzy goodness. When the fountain and its nozzles are kept squeaky clean, the CO2, which is basically the gas that gives soda its bubbles, can work its fizzy magic to the max. 
McDonald's also ensures that their fountain's water and syrup levels are perfectly balanced. Who knows, maybe they've got soda scientists with PhDs in bubbleology fine-tuning the mix. But they try to make every sip a symphony of flavors. The right amount of sweetness, the perfect level of fizz, and that unmistakable Coke essence we all know and love. Aside from McDonald's, do you know that Macedonia wears the crown for having the best Coke on the planet? According to Coca-Cola themselves, the Skopje Brewery in Macedonia holds the crown for serving the most tantalizing Coke products in the world. Imagine a place where every sip of Coke is like a flavor explosion in your mouth. Well, that's Macedonia for you. With their unwavering commitment to the highest production standards, they've perfected the art of Coke making, earning them the title of the luckiest sippers in the world. With that level of record, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to call Macedonia a true Coke wonderland where every sip is a delightful flavor party, don't you think? Amid all the flavorful fizz and frenzy Coke has to offer, sorry to say, but it might just be bidding farewell to the store shelves sometime soon. Did I hear you say why? To set things straight, the FDA is on a mission to investigate whether a Coke sweetener, especially in our good old diet version, could have a secret carcinogenic twist. Will Coke survive this suspenseful investigation? You'll have to stay tuned. The FDA, in its never-ending quest to keep us healthy and happy, has taken a closer look at one of our favorite artificial sweeteners, aspartame. Rumor has it that aspartame might be hiding a dark secret by potentially being a likely carcinogen. Shocking, right? But before you go into extinction-level panic mode, let's put on our detective hats and investigate this fizzworthy story. First off, let's talk about aspartame, the sweetener that has sweetened countless cans of Coke for years from Diet Coke to Coke Zero and other Coke contenders out there. Aspartame is used in various food and beverage products as a sugar substitute, making our favorite soda guilt-free, or almost. And lately, the safety of aspartame has been a subject of debate for a while, but no solid evidence has surfaced until now. The FDA, who are like the food and drink Avengers, have been researching aspartame, trying to find out if it's really as harmless as we'd like to believe. And you know what? It's commendable that they're looking out for us, like soda superheroes fighting the forces of potential harm. But wait, before we pronounce Coke's doom, let's remember one crucial thing. The FDA is just conducting an investigation. They are still putting Coke on trial, but haven't reached a verdict yet. And we all know how trials can sometimes turn out, right? Sometimes, the truth surprises us, like discovering your long-lost cousin is actually a celebrity. Let's not forget, Coke isn't putting all its fizzy eggs in one sweet basket. They've been diversifying their beverage portfolio, experimenting with new flavors, and branching out into healthier alternatives and sweeteners. So, even if Coke had to make changes, like introducing a new sweetener or reformulating their recipe, they'll do their best to keep that iconic taste intact. So, as we sip our sodas, knowing that the future might hold surprises, we can rest assured that no matter what happens, the world won't run out of fizzy drinks. However, let's keep our taste buds curious and sip with caution as we await the verdict of the FDA to determine if Coke will still be a coke experience or a fatal brew to avoid completely.